Donkey Kong Jet Blast or Barrel Blast, I think it's called in other countries. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, grab that. We got this. We got this. <gasps> no! I heard this game was terrible, hence why I bought it. But you know what? <laughs> Woo! That's sick. I actually found myself having a lot of fun with it. I just killed that poor innocent creature. Now, granted, I did only play one Grand Prix, and that needs to be stated off the bat. I think one Grand Prix is enough. <laughs> My arms are hurting. But the few races that I did do, it was genuinely pretty fun. Damn, man, I crushed that. That felt good. Weirdly enough, the controls actually did work. This is actually all right. I mean, it works pretty decent, actually. Right and left worked really well. Jumping worked really well. The punching worked well with the buttons. B is items. A is punch. <laughs> Fuck. Got it, yeah. But I am getting ahead of myself, so let's just talk about the positives. At least the game just gets right into it. No logos, nothing, really. It's just, hey, play the fucking game. I like the music. Oh. Yeah. The game looks cool. It actually feels pretty polished as well. I will say I like the level designs. Whoa, no way. How sick. I'm on a little dolphin. There's a lot of Donkey Kong characters, of course. And you unlock them from doing the Grand Prix, which, you know, gives you motivation to want to play, I suppose. Calypso. Uh, I don't know who the hell that is. Clutch. What a name. I love that. I'm clutch. The three maps that I played are actually pretty different from each other in terms of how they looked. I don't know why, but it's sort of funny about just watching all these characters just going on their bongos. I loved how it felt when you used the wild move, I think it's cool, and you go zooming down the, the track. Boom, too easy, dude. Give me that crown. Now, granted, I am the kind of person who can try and have fun regardless of what situation I'm in. I'm fucking first, lads. But overall, I mean, four out of tens? One of the worst Wii games ever? Shake to accelerate. Oh, man. That's really how you accelerate? Okay, you now Donkey Kong's giant carrot thumb. I have got some complaints, of course. Get my way, you fat fuck. <laughs> I mean, this game's turning me aggressive. I wish there was a cheat to unlock all the characters or at least have more characters at the very start. I can't be tiny. I want to be tiny. The graphics aren't that great, but I also can't really tell because the Wii's graphics were always a bit shite anyway. That noise is doing my head in. <laughs> my arms are getting a bit knackered. Well, admit my arms are hurting a little bit now. Fuck. So doing that constantly is not going to be good for you. I don't know what any of the items do, man. Like, for all I know, she's just flying around doing nothing. Another negative as well is that I did feel like I saw what most of the game had to offer from that one Grand Prix. It's quite a lot to remember, to be honest. Like, the game seems really, really simple in a tutorial. When you're actually in the game, you got to get the bananas. you got to punch the fucking barrels. you got to make sure you don't hit anybody. you got to move left and right with the thing. you got to... I keep speeding up to keep forgetting to do, I just realized. It's actually quite a lot to remember. I think a story mode would have been nice, you know, just to have some kind of context and kind of get the player involved a bit more. Who is this chick with a giant cranium? That would have been really cool if you had to play as Donkey Kong and then it's got cutscenes and you have to enter the race or you do like tracks, you gotta click bananas. Oh wow, I got the exact same time as Tiny Kong, the exact same time. No way. But you know what, all in all, I actually kind of liked it. Oh yeah, look at that dodge. Oh, shit. I think it gets a way worse rep than it deserves. I'm kind of getting a bit into this, although I need to stop. I'm fucking hurting my neck and back. It's a shame that it didn't come out on the GameCube because I do feel it would have benefited a lot from doing that. Oh, this tiny. The game's taunting me. And I def feel that hitting the physical bongos would have just felt more authentic and better. DK Jungle, Salty Sea. That'll be me when I lose. It doesn't feel as satisfying when you're flailing around. I'm not actually hitting the bongos to move. The Sapphire Cup, it said, it said that's how you unlock tiny. I don't care that much, though. <laughs> but all in all, I'm pleasantly surprised.